Well, I can tell you this. I talked to a bunch of people. The one answer I never heard was, I am absolutely not getting the vaccine, at least not here. But there's plenty of skepticism. Passengers fly in and fly out. So we're better to get a cross-section of answers about the coronavirus vaccine than SeaTac Airport. Would you take it or not? Yes, I sure would. You would? Yes, Why? Uh, I, uh, if, it, if it's from Pfizer, I'd probably take it because Pfizer is a reputed company. And this man says he would take others too. This is the answer I was expecting more of. That's not what I got. I got I to gotta see if any more, any more people are going to take it, but I don't know. It's a, I don't know for me. <laughs> would, you, would you want to take it? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could take it. Nobody seems to rule it out completely, but unlike the medical professionals who are more familiar with the science behind the vaccines, many of the rest of us are willing to see how these first rounds go. I've already got COVID. You did? I re yep, I recovered from it. It was not uh, that extreme for me. Jessica is from Iowa and her sister Anita is moving back there. Um, I'm undecided. Undecided? Yeah. I know people are for it back home. We also threw out the question on King 5's Facebook page, especially in the wake of doctors and nurses taking that vaccine now. Bob says, well, sure, it's been a couple of hours and they haven't dropped dead yet. Must be safe, right? How about we proceed with caution? Bobby says, yes, I'm willing to get the vaccine and to everyone who says vaccines don't work, grow up. But wait and see also seems to apply online. Eloise says, yes, however, I figure by the time it got to me, the vaccine would definitely be proven. Now, Jessica, the woman we interviewed here from Iowa who had COVID already, she said about a month and a half, two months ago, she's going to go with the antibodies she hopes she has, although she's still taking precautions with her mask and everything else. Kind of see how that goes before she actually signs up for the vaccine. So it will be interesting to see as more and more people get it, particularly first responders and folks in the medical community, if those attitudes start to change and people start to feel more comfortable. Meanwhile, live at SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.